What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today I want to discuss Warzone Mobile. So I haven't really talked about Warzone Mobile in a long time, given the fact that there hasn't really been a lot of news other than just them updating the game constantly to optimize it a lot more for different devices. I probably should be making more videos on Warzone Mobile, especially now since we have the release date, which is something that we are going to be discussing right now. But a lot of stuff has been unfolding within Warzone Mobile that is just actually pretty amazing. I mean, throughout the development the, the entire time, I haven't talked about it. Uh, you know, the game's go actually going pretty well. Not only that, there's also been like a lot of good news within, you know, the Microsoft acquisition. I think it's already almost over. Uh, you know, I think Xbox already won and they already signed like a 10 year deal with Sony to have Call of Duty on the consoles, which is pretty much a given. I'm sure like they would have agreed to that anyways. But yeah, there's, there's just has been a lot of news uh, you know, pertaining to Warzone Mobile and just Call of Duty in general that I haven't really spoken about. But yeah, uh, we are going to start today with the potential release date for, you know, for Warzone Mobile. So the game has been in development for quite a long time. It was originally thought to be released alongside Modern Warfare 2, but then it got delayed until God knows when. I mean, they didn't really give us a potential release date. They just said it was going to be around 2023. And then some of the gameplay was shown off by Bobby Plays as well as other content creators at the Call of Duty Next event. I think that's what it was called when Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone Mobile were both uh, being shown. And of course, during that time, Warzone Mobile was obviously at a very, very fresh alpha state. It wasn't really, you know, at its best. I mean, compared to what it is right now currently, where the graphics are much more refined. Um, you know, th there's a lot more compatibility with certain devices and all that. But at this point, we've kind of reached the state in the year where we start getting leaks about Modern Warfare 3 and even Warzone Mobile. And apparently, I guess Modern Warfare 3 is supposed to release on November 10th, 2023. And that is also going to be alongside Warzone Mobile. So that is currently the release date right now. It's supposed to be November 10th or around that area. And I'm just wondering whether or not that's actually going to be concrete if if it's obviously going to be subject to change. I mean, I think that's that's something that's probably going to happen. It might be delayed again. I'm not really that sure. But based on how it's currently being, you know, developed, I think right now they're in a pretty good state, uh, especially with the graphics. I mean, it looks absolutely like fantastic. And with Android devices, I mean, they're still working on compatibility, I think. But right now they're also starting to work on, you know, iPhone related stuff. So based on the tech specs or I guess the requirements needed to actually play Warzone Mobile, like at least for the iOS devices, they have to have at least three gigs of RAM and an A12 Bionic chip. That's basically the bare minimum right now. They might actually add uh, some sort of compatibility for lower end devices, but I think the A12 chip is kind of like old at this point. I mean, we're already at the A14, A15 chips. So even that, even then it's like still kind of like the bare minimum anyways in today's standards. So it kind of makes me wonder how long do they really have to finish up this game? Because based on what we've seen so far, yes, it's still pretty buggy, but I think by the time it reaches November, it might actually be completely done. Of course, I could be wrong about that. The The release date is not actually confirmed completely. I mean, things are always subject to change, and for all we know, they might delay it, or if anything, they might actually also... I guess, bring the release date closer, you know, maybe to October, maybe September. But of course, that's pretty far-fetched. But I think, you know, I basically look at the game through the graphics. Like, if the graphics look a lot more refined, it kind of gives me an idea of how far they've progressed with the game. And keep in mind, they have to, you know, tune the graphics in a certain way that it's compatible with all the devices that they're testing. And yeah, of course, obviously that does take some time. And right now, currently, they're still working on the iOS devices. I'm not really that sure if they have, you know, made any progress towards, you know, the iPads and the iPad Pros and all that stuff. But as of right now, uh, most of the gameplay that I've seen have mainly been from Android devices. And, you know, the gameplay that I have seen, you know, they've brought in some blueprints. I, there's like this fire one with the ISO hemlock. I think that's what it was called that looked pretty amazing even in, you know, Warzone Mobile. I mean, the scrapyard gameplay that I saw a while back in Warzone Mobile looked a lot better than what we see right here in COD Mobile. And even now they're continuing to improve upon it and improve upon it even further. So again, really time will only tell when that game actually gets released. But knowing that Modern Warfare 3 is most likely gonna have the same exact engine as Modern Warfare 2, I think that's actually a good idea because now they can bring in Modern Warfare 3 weapons into Warzone Mobile as well. 
And even more so now, we do have almost, I guess, somewhat confirmation that, you know, all the blueprints that you bought from Warzone uh, 2 or even from Modern Warfare 2 is going to carry over to Modern Warfare 3 because there are going to be some weapons in that game that are pretty much the same as they were in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, keep in mind, this game is literally coming out a year after Modern Warfare 2. So, yeah, they might carry over a lot of different things. But what kind of worries me is that since Warzone Mobile is going to have multiplayer mode with, you know, a lot of various maps, I think at this point we've already gotten con confirmation that, you know, uh, Shoot House and even Shipman at some point is going to be making its way into Warzone Mobile. Um, I kind of wonder if it, if it might take them a little bit more time to redesign the engine to make it so that it's very compatible with Modern Warfare 3 because there are they are changing certain things with movement and how just the game functions in, in general. So there is a chance that it might take a little bit longer to make. But yeah, that's my current take on what will happen with the release date. I'm not sure if that's going to be the one that's set in stone. Obviously things can change. It could be set to an earlier time or most likely a very later time. But yeah, it has to be within 2023. I mean, we still have plenty of time to see how all of this goes. And even then like Modern Warfare 3, Obviously, they're probably going to have some sort of, I guess, test gameplay or, you know, kind of like those little betas that they have every summer to at least get the feel for how the game is going to be. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be playing that. But I, I don't know if I'm going to do it this time around because, I mean, playing Modern Warfare 2, even during the beta, was very stressful. So I, don't, I really don't want to do that again. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more Call of content. I'll see you guys next time.